Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this May 6, 2024. And it's a, let's see what day it is of the week, honey. What? It's a Monday. Did y'all know it's Monday? Wow. And so y'all know what that means when it's Monday. It don't mean a goddamn thing. How about that? <laughs> Work still has to get done. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I slept. I rest it very, very well. And I always know when I'm actually sleeping because I, I, I remember that I've had dreams. But I I have like a series of dreams. Back to back, back to back. It's hard to keep up with my dreams. I used to attempt to do that back in the day, be uh, concerned about my dreams. But man, it, it, it's, it's just weird. But I can... I haven't had a lucid dream in, in quite some time. And, um, you know, I just let my consciousness and my subconscious decide what I need to work on because that's what happens when you're dreaming. You're working on things. You know, you're trying to resolve situations and this and that and the other. So I have a busy day planned today. So, you know, I'm up and at it, you know, handling my business you know, the best way I can, you know, but I want to say something to clarify a lot of things going on. A lot of people are talking about, I mean, there's a lot of things going on in our world, on our planet, with each other. And that's, that's where it's really, you know, concerning is, is how we're behaving with each other. But, you know, I've said enough about that, but There's a lot of things going on that if, if, if someone, that's why you need to get grounded. You know, you need to get grounded in your reality so that you'll be able to handle certain things that are happening. Um, because a lot of things are affecting our health. A lot of things are affecting our consciousness more than anything. And I told you about planet Earth. Planet Earth is an entity you know, of its own, you know, that knows what to do and knows how to resolve things when it's necessary. Planet Earth wants to survive and 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 thrive and strive and, and do everything else like we do as human beings or what we're supposed to do. Nature knows what nature is doing, regardless of whether we like it or not. Um, you know, a lot of us curse nature when nature does what nature does. So anyway, so there's a lot of things going on with our planet and a lot of things going on with the uh, the essential elements of what makes a planet and how human beings can thrive on it, how human beings can strive on it. And there are, there are conditionings, conditions happening that is uh, playing that out right before our eyes. And a lot of us are kind of picking up mixed signals, I think, about what's really, really going on. Um, we just, again, we just have to be logical, rational, and reasonable. And individually, we need to make sure we are grounded and not make ourselves better than we think we are, uh, more powerful than we think we are all knowing uh, because like I, as I said a lot of people are coming forward you know these false prophets and uh, false messengers false heralds just you know fraudulent behaving people are coming forward and unfortunately because we've missed a lot of opportunities we've allowed that type of energy to thrive to strive you know to uh, you know I mean, it, it, it's getting to a point, and it, well, it is at that point, where you can't s separate um, the sheep the sheep from the wolves and the wolves from the sheep. You know, that's what we are kind of uh, navigating through. And some people are lost forever in this, uh, in this space and time you know, via their consciousness. You know, they look like human beings. 
they're acting like human beings for the most part, but they have lost themselves in their uh, delusion, illusion. And so, but, you know, but, but because this planet evolves just like you and everything else, um, it's a lot of things happens unconsciously is the, the point I'm making. And you have no idea what's happening. Um, but the first thing, but the first thing that happens when people start getting a little bit of a, you know, cause when you start meditating, no matter what type of meditation you're doing, meaning when you start concentrating and focusing, you're going to, you're going to be bringing in a lot of awareness of things that you may not be prepared for. And so since everybody's in a rush, you know, because, it, because if you're feeling, like I say, if you're feeling crazy, yeah, you ought to. And if you're feeling other kind of things going on, I'll kind of go into it as, as, as best I can. Um, you know, um, I've asked this question several times as well. How many warnings do you need? How much evidence do you need to know that something is drastically wrong? And that something is drastically going on. Okay. As I'm being taught. I told you that this planet is massively, massively overpopulated with people. With uh, materialism such as toys, military toys, equipment, buildings. All of these things are animals. All of these things are attempting to um, live on a planet that's that's suffocating because of that. And what do I mean? Well, we've been lied to for thousands of years, hundreds of years. But at the same time, if you're evolving your consciousness properly, you're able to pick up certain signals, certain impulses, certain energy, that something is really, really wrong. Not that anything, you know, and I know a lot of people want to, uh, and this is not the word to use, but it came up the other day. A lot of people want to ascend, you know, and be, I'm not really sure what they want to be, but I think it's, you know, I think sometimes we, we, we mix up words. That's why you got to be really careful about words that you're using. Because, you know, you, you are conjuring up stuff that can put you in a trance if your consciousness is not developed properly. And you'll know if your consciousness is developed properly because, you know, you'll be a little bit more logical, rational, reasonable. You know, you'll, you'll take yourself out of your fantasies, out of your delusions, your hallucinations. And you, you know, you'll settle yourself down. And be mindful and concentrating on what's really, really going on. And and you know it's not good if you if you're being honest. You know that something's not right. Something's affecting us, and it's it's affecting us physically. Is what's happening. Stand by. Okay, so what's happening is uh, we're at a dangerous level in our atmosphere. We're at a, uh, uh, a dangerous level in our resources. And what's happening is that it's, you know, it's affecting us physically. Okay, I told you uh, the other day, you know, we really need to look in the mirror at ourselves, you know, not in the cell phones, and look in the mirror at ourselves and make sure we can handle what we see without the filters. You know, can we love what we see, you know, even with the blemishes and even with the scars and even with the pimples and even with, with skin tags, whatever's happening. Because a lot of stuff is happening. But if you're looking at a cell phone or you're on a social media platform, it's going to filter all of that out. It's filtering out your reality. And so you don't see what you actually see because a lot of us are not evolving ourselves properly. 
or participating properly. We're always evolving, but we, but you have to participate as well in your evolution of your consciousness. You just can't sit back and think, okay, somebody else is going to take care of that, or you know, somebody's going to come out of the sky to help me or help us, or somebody's going to come out of the sky to save us or save me or save you. Okay, that. You know, that's that's where the delusions and illusions and hallucination comes in. No one's coming to save us about from nowhere because we have we have buried ourselves in our own self-created man-made black hole, and no one of of uh, intelligence and no one of of uh, proper consciousness. We'll risk it. It's like having a hole in the ground, okay, barely enough for you to fit in. And there's like 10 to 15, you know, there's like 10, over 10 people in there, maybe more. And there's that small hole, a small window of opportunity. And the people that are in the hole are not paying attention to your instructions. You're telling them to do this. You're telling, you've been telling them that for thousands of years and then you said to them, that's how we'll be able to save you if you do this or that and the other. And, and the people in the hole will say, well, okay, yeah, we're going to do it. Well, yeah, we, yeah well, you know, they, they get all enthusiastic, they're happy. And then you come back and they're still doing the same things that they have been doing. And, um, and that's what it is. That's what it, 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 that's what it is. Um, that's what I'm visualizing that it is. You know, we are in a hole, man-made black hole, and we've been told hundreds of years, thousands of years, maybe millions of years, what to do to in order to get out of it. And we always agree, okay, yeah, yeah, you know. But what's what has caused such severe damage to a lot of our consciousness is that you know we thought we could fool our consciousness you know we thought we were sophisticated you know we were but i mean we thought we were sophisticated and we were we were sophisticated liars manipulators and deceivers and dece so some of some people in the whole were listening and are listening and those are the people that i resonate with you know we're listening we're paying attention we're doing what we need to do but we have to, if you choose to, recognize that some there are some a lot of lost causes in on this planet of people that are in everybody's way and, and, and you know and kind of so when and the people that are in this man-made black hole were told that you only have a certain amount of time to get it your act together, otherwise this hole is going to close up forever and no one will ever be able to save you. So, and each time this, these people or, you know, the, the humans that were there, they would say, oh, okay, we got time, we got time, we got time, we got time. And they say, okay, well, I'll worry about that tomorrow. I'll worry about that tomorrow because um, they didn't understand becoming in passing. They, fig they figured, well, if I don't handle it, then somebody else will handle it. And they didn't understand that, you know, that they are a fixed to that hole, that man-made black hole, you know, forever. And for some, it will be forever until they just spin themselves out and and, and go into another black hole, you know, and, and everything is energy. So, it, you know, and so if you have to, so think about that we are a little dot, a, a, a grain of sand and how a grain of sand can be spun out everywhere without being seen. That's what we are on planet Earth. We're a grain of sand spinning out with everything else that's here. Massive amount of stuff. So a lot of people get all... And, and so... So that's what's happening. How was that? Cotton or linton or something. So... Let's get back to our grain of sand. Okay. Our grain of sand, also known as planet Earth, in the vastness of the universe is in severe, severe trouble. It's in the process of being spun out somewhere 
into a an unto, into parts unknown to where no one's going to risk their lives or their resources or their equipment to save any of them. Why why would anyone do that? Why would you risk your life over a grain a grain of sand? It will anybody? So that's that literal figuratively, metaphorically thinking mode. You know, you just have to take it there. Just do whatever the best you can based on your the way you express yourself to to make it make sense to you. And deep, go deep. You need to be deep in your consciousness and asking the appropriate questions. All right. So, in regard in regard to our planet, yes, there are things going on. Okay, so and it's starting to affect. It has been affecting us physically for so long that now is um, it's becoming acute. So a lot of symptoms are going to come up upon a lot of people. See, when you're evolving, that's why I say you can't fool your consciousness. Uh, a lot of things are going to be happening unconsciously. You're not going to even know what's going on until, like I said, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to see, a, you're going to realize that, okay, something's different about my reality. You know, something's different. Something feels different. And everything is coming from within. Uh, you know, you, you, know you, you are, from, your, from within, you're expanding it without. You know, you're expanding it outward. And you are, you know, Creating your own destiny is what you're doing when you work inside of yourself and deal with things that are that are necessary to be a human being in the tr in the true sense. So a lot of us are fooling ourselves, you know, sadly, believing that we are tapping into something that we're not. Usually, when you you know, and that's why I have to be so careful with my words, you know, they grand scale of things happen unconsciously. You have no idea that anything is happening to you at all. You get up one morning, like I said, you may experience a different reality of things, like something's different, the colors are different, the sounds are different, the smells, you know. And so if anybody's paying attention, though, we will recognize that there is something going on but it's not, it's not uh, healthy. Something, something unhealthy is happening. Even though I, you know, I am in the midst of a lot of uh, growing in my consciousness and in my uh, beingness, I know that there are some things going on that, that that's unhealthy. And so I said this. Uh, you know, we're crowded. We're crowding each other out. We have, you know, and we we exhale CO2, CO2 as well. And we keep trying to blame everything on fossil fuels. You know, it's the animals, the massive, uh, the massive breeding of animals and their methane gas, you know. So what we are experiencing is similar to that planet I told you, Eckhart, that became so massively, massively, massively overpopulated with people, toys, and things that they could not breathe. And thus, the majority of them on that planet, billions of them, billions, died in their sleep. Some, some, some were able to be saved because they were listening and paying attention. Because there's people in the universe, human beings in the universe, whose, who's, um, I, I, I wouldn't say a mission, but it's, a, it's almost like an obligation to help people if they can. Okay, to help if they can, but understand that there is free will and that they're not supposed to interfere at all. Whether well, people, you know, they put the knowledge out there and if, the, and if the, the people, the human beings cannot accept, you know, what's in that knowledge, then, you know, everything is free will. And, and, and like I said, you ought to appreciate that. So there are things going on in our atmosphere and I wish the scientists will be honest and direct with us about it because it's going to affect everybody, whether you're religious or not, whether you're rich or not, whether you're black or white, whether you're male or female, whether you're masculine or feminine, it's going to affect everybody. Not only the destruction of the climate, but the, the, the air we breathe. 
So if you're feeling lightheaded, okay, feeling some kind of unusual symptoms, like unusual sounds that are bothering you, uh, un unusual, unusual sensations of, you know, how you're breathing, you know, and how you're feeling, are you feeling fatigued and you're doing everything you're supposed to do to not be fatigued, you go to the doctor, you know, just know that something is going on and it has something to do with our atmosphere, you know, so you just have to trust yourself. And say, look, I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. And I'm applying all of this knowledge. And something is not adding up. And, and, and you're right. Trust yourself. You're right. All of us are being affected by high levels of CO2. And it's not because of vehicles or fossil fuels. It's because of human beings. We are massively, massively overpopulated with human beings. And at some point, all of us will not be able to breathe. Okay? So, do everything in your power to be honest with yourself and direct with yourself and not attempt to take yourself out into some fantasy and illusion and hallucination. Something is going on, but it's not good news. Okay? It's not good news at all. There's a reason why we have all of these health issues. Okay, we got if it, if it's not this or that or the other in the air, and I don't want to say certain things that are causing the most damage as well. I said it, human beings are with our as we exhale CO two, but other things are a combination of that as well. So our, so we're going to be affected adversely. But like I said, these cell phones filter that to where you think, okay, you know. You know, I'm, I'm, there's no problems with my skin. There's no problems with my vision, what I smell, what, you know, what I'm tasting in food, the aftertaste and all this kind of stuff. Something is going on. And trust yourself to know that it is and do everything in your power to uh, protect yourself. You know, you know, eat proper nutrition, read the labels, do not be obsessive, I'm just being honest with you, with extending so much of your energy and working out. You know, because there's a lot of people that work out with weights, work out, exercise like crazy, which is fantastic if you are, but when you just want to make sure you're not exerting a lot of energy when, where, when it's time for you to save yourself, you're not going to have the energy to do so. So just think about things. Uh, just elevate yourself in certain ways and allow your consciousness to guide you. All because you were doing something for five or ten years doesn't mean that you can't change that and evolve it into something else and blah, blah, you know, and vice versa. Okay, if you're feeling these physical symptoms of things, you know, menopause, we, we call it, um... You know, there's a reason behind it, and it has to do with our atmosphere. Okay, if you're hearing unusual sounds, if you're having these unusual sensations, you know, your skin is breaking out, you know, you you know, you know, have a dry mouth all the time, even though I know I'm living in the desert, so, so to speak. You know, just pay attention to yourself. Actually, pay attention to yourself. Look at for bruising, look for unusual sores, look for unusual, you know, just just be a little bit more uh, mindful of your environment and make sure you are being proper with what you are discerning. Um, you know, see if you could check out the, you know, you might have to invest in certain things to find out, okay, what's the quality of the air in here? or air in there, or wherever you are, make sure you're breathing properly, you know, and, um, you know, do everything in your power to contact scientists. A lot of people um, say they don't trust scientists. Well, I would talk to them at least and get some clarity on, on things that we ought to have learned in 
when we were younger children, you know, in our elementary schools, in our middle schools, you know, about what it takes to have a healthy planet. And ask yourself, okay, so if there's if our planet is not healthy and animals are going extinct, then what do you think it may, means to us physically? Okay? So I just want to get up this morning on Monday and give you something to contemplate, cultivate. But no one has to know, you know? And be gentle with yourself when you realize, you know, you're not all that. And that's a good thing. You're not all powerful. That's a good thing. And that you don't know everything. And that should be, you know, encouraging. Especially for people like myself that loves to learn things. And I know people that resonate with me, we're the same way. We love to learn. We know we love to know what's really going on. And I'm telling you, it's not good when it comes to our our oxygen levels. Okay, and the scientists have to step it up. I know some of you were afraid 10, 20, 30, 40. I mean, hundreds of years ago, you were afraid to te- te- to um, give us the truth about our, our atmosphere and our oxygen intake. And because everything was about greed. Okay, but keep in mind, as I said, um... There is cause and effect. You will reap what you've sown. Um, You have to make the decision as to how you want to have an impact on society. How you want to, quote unquote, save humanity. Okay? How you want to save humanity. All right? So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my day. I got a busy day ahead. I'm kind of excited for the, the things that are coming forward for me. And I'm kind of, I'm really excited that I just, um, I just, I just keep, I just keep it moving. I keep it moving regardless of what's happening. Because he, again, a lot of things are happening and a lot of people are not going to like it. Okay. As time goes by. So I'll talk more about that, you know, in later times. So I want to put out as much content as I, as I can. So you might see my, see my little face <laughs> a lot more. But I want to put out as much content as I can, and uh, and I'm gonna go back into certain things. But if you're feeling these kind of physical symptoms that you can't, you know, that your doctor can't resolve for you, you know, maybe it's not menopause. Okay, keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Trust me, I'll be back.